What a difference a week makes on the moon. Earth's closest neighbor now has two new landers after two missions landed within just four days of one another, a first in lunar exploration. Y'all select the landing. We're on the moon. Both are led by private sector American space companies. Firefly's Blue Ghost has already begun its work. Intuitive Machine's second lander is on the moon, but its controllers are still assessing exactly where and whether the craft is standing upright. We think that um, uh, we've been very successful to this point. However, I do have to tell you that uh, we don't believe we're in the correct attitude on the surface of the moon uh, yet again. When China successfully landed on the moon in 2013, no country had been there in nearly 40 years. They landed on the near and far sides, launched rovers, and sent samples back to Earth. But the last few years have seen a rapid acceleration. India and Japan put their own crafts on the moon. And now the private race is on as a wave of companies with public partnerships arrive all at once, each with new capabilities. Japan is next. Its lander is expected to arrive in June. This is now regular cadence of missions that we're going to have, one or two per year, uh, where we can just access those services, put payloads on. Others as well can do that as well. Uh, do that as well. One urgent goal is to set up communication systems that can synchronize with Earth's own satellite network and send lots of data back home. Blue Ghost carries a dish that will help build this. And lunar dust gets everywhere. Well, the craft has carried out experiments to understand how it moves and how to clear it. Onboard Intuitive Machines Lander are dozens of instruments. They're intended to search for water in the lunar surface. However, which of these will function after the uncertain landing remains unknown. But there are still so many questions to answer about the moon. So a lot of the questions we have at the moment about the moon are very, very practical things about um, you know, can we find water? Can we find other the nutrient supplies that we need? Can we use the lunar rocks to make shelters, to build, make buildings, to protect us from the radiation? What is the radiation? A new generation of space explorers is charting the moon, and they're sending back videos that almost take us there, too. Colin Baker, Al Jazeera. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.